On today's ten minute IT jams, we introduce Forta, an organization that specializes in fraud detection for e-commerce. The company works with a global network of online retailers and banks to provide real-time analysis of trust at every customer interaction. Excuse me. Let's turn it over to Forta's Australia and New Zealand country manager, Matt Humphreys. Welcome, Matt. Very good. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for e-commerce news and Tech Day for having us. Uh, glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about your company. You know, what do you do? Um, who do you work with? Um, the, the rundown of, of what, who you are. Yeah, sure. So Forger is a fraud and policy abuse software as a service. We've been around since 2013. Um, and we work with globally the likes of, I'll use a few examples, but the likes of Nordstrom and ASOS globally within Asia Pacific here, uh, marketplaces like Shein and within Australia and New Zealand. Um, merchants like Adore Beauty and Booktopia, who use our software to make a decision about if they can trust a customer or not in order to prevent fraud, but most importantly, let in the maximum number of, of good customers that they can so that they can increase conversions and provide a great customer experience and, uh, and the like. Excellent. So what do you do here in uh, Australia and New Zealand and the wide, wider APAC region? You know, um, do you work with direct sales? Do you work with a channel? How many people do you have? You know, that kind of thing. Sure. No, it's a great question. We're in an exciting time in terms of um, Forder's growth. We've just gone in the past year from 200 to over 400 people. But within Asia Pacific, we employ both a, a direct and a channel go-to-market strategy. So we've got our Australian headquarters here in Sydney. Um, we've also got um, offices in Singapore, Shanghai, and Tokyo. And then uh, we go to market in India and Korea through channel partners. And so um, the, the footprint at the moment is about five people in Sydney, but we'll be um, closer to 10 people by the end of January. So growing fairly quickly and the Asia Pacific team um, is more than 30 people now between those, those offices that I mentioned. Um, and we are, while we do have, um, you know, boots on the ground, customer success and sales and marketing and end-to-end um, -end operation within Asia Pacific, we're also uh, have a pretty strong channel partner network. So we work with the likes of SAP, Salesforce, uh, Adobe, and, and Shopify on the kind of e-commerce storefront side, work with a number of um, payment service providers, banks, acquirers, and just a, a number of system integrators, a number of different folks throughout the um, e-commerce ecosystem. Wow, it sounds like an exciting time ahead for the company. So we'll kind of pull the focus back a bit and look at um, you know trends. So what are you seeing in the market at the moment? Um, is there a lot of volatility um, or maybe it's even stable considering um, COVID and, and the like? Yeah, it's, it's a, a great question and a great time. You know, I think we're coming into Black Friday, Cyber Monday at the time that we're doing this recording and um, on the back of a, a year and a half of, of pandemic, I think you know, the pandemic, it's a great time to be in e-commerce in general, but the pandemic, um, as challenging as it's been, it's, it's forced a ton of digital innovation for online retailers. And so I think we're in a, a great position as part of that. Our customers are in a great position as part of that because it's moved forward that, that digital experience of customers that, that might have shopped in store have moved online and customers that were already buying online are um, creating more habits and, and becoming um, more in tune with that experience. So I think we often think about it as Forder as, as the customer or our customer's customer, the, the benchmark is their last great experience. And so um, if it's 30 minute click and collect or two hour or same day delivery, the, the bar has just been raised in terms of those experiences. And we're, we're well positioned based on having a, a newer school method software as a service platform for fraud prevention that allows customers, our, our merchants basically, to make a decision about whether they trust a customer in under one second, where um, the, the kind of the history within the fraud prevention space is that um, there's a lot of rules to be employed on hard attributes and often um, it requires a fraud analyst to, to look at transactions and, and some level of manual review. And it just doesn't scale um, when we move to more and more online or try to create those experiences like a 30 minute click and collect or a two hour um, or same day delivery. So that, that real time ability that we've got to be able to make a decision about whether we trust a customer or not, if it's fraudulent or if it's real in under one second is something that uh, it's a great time for, for us in our space, but a, a great time for e-commerce space in general, I think. 
Excellent. So if we look forward um, over the next few months or maybe the next year, what's ahead for uh, for Porter? Um, are there new products and solutions on the horizon? Um, or are there any initiatives that you'd like to share? Yeah, I think speaking um, broad brush without um, giving away our, our product roadmap exactly, I would say that the, the piece that we're excited about is the move beyond um, straight fraud prevention and, and a, a trend we're seeing into um, more and more um, protection against policy abuse. So that is uh, abuse by existing customers rather than fraud rings for things like item not received or promotion abuse or um, returns abuse, things like that. The same brain that we use to identify a customer, we have a, a billion identities in our global network that we're able to leverage to, to help decide if, if a customer is a customer or not. Um, that can be used to prevent fraud, but it can also be used to set better policies and, and help identify if there's policy abuse among an existing customer base. And the other pieces um, that we're seeing gains in and, and starting to see fraud exist in other areas outside of just your typical online retailer and e-commerce is, is identity theft. And so that same brain that we have, the AI and machine learning and the billion different identities can be used across use cases at purchase, at login for account takeover, post-purchase for returns abuse or uh, early in the funnel for, for promotions abuse. So I think that's a trend that uh, we'll see over the course of the next year. We already have those products in place, but effectively the same brain can be used for any of those use cases and, and we're seeing them come up uh, more and more and more. Excellent. So we've been talking a lot about Forda um, and what you offer and all these exciting uh, things uh, that you can do to prevent fraud in e-commerce. So if someone wants to get in touch with you um, or if they want to find out more about your services and products, um, how should they get in touch? Yeah. So for, firstly, certainly for um, somebody in the tech day e-commerce news world, um, Matt Humphreys on LinkedIn at, at Forda, you're more than welcome to reach out directly. If you follow Forder on LinkedIn, we put out a ton of not just fraud prevention related, but just e-commerce um, thought leadership in general. And of course, you can go to Forder.com and, and sign up for a demo or check out our, our case studies. Excellent. So we've been speaking to uh, Forder Australia and New Zealand country man manager, Matt Humphreys today. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. Thanks, Sarah. Really appreciate it.